Hey guys, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. I'm in my naturalist state. Okay, all right. Uh, anyway, I just, you know, I did a little workout today and then I said, you know what I mean? Uh, and, it, and it was very little. <laughs> um, I pulled a few cards now. This is going to be a general reading for the masses, for the collective. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, then, you know, uh, sorry. So, ooh, the first card, Seven of Swords. Second card, the Ace of Wands. Second card, the Two of Wands. Okay, got movement here. The Page of Swords. And then the Ace of Cups. It looks like for some of you, this is a, a decision a plan a, a fast acting plan in regards to either shifting location moving relocating starting something new there there are choices there is a choice or there's a decision that needs to be made also it's going to take a bit of um inquiring or yeah inquiring do ask the necessary questions gather the information and then it looks like you get exactly what you want a lot of times the ace of cups of course they could talk about new love but this also is a new home that could be a new home for some of you it could be the start of a new friendship some of you've had some heavy conversation today give or take two days um that helps you shift the energy, helps you put more energy effort behind starting something new and passionate. Some of you are asking the probing questions to a particular person. You want to see where they are. What it is? What? What do you want? Uh, you may even be inquiring about their habits or lack thereof or maybe their work ethic or you may be talking about work there's an element here of someone slowly I'm hearing slowly sneaking away starting something new they want to shift their entire world but they need to know how you feel about this newfound love or friendship or this is some of you once again moving relocating shifting locations what did it what what's going on I need to do this I need to do that I need to make a decision in regards to this um, money some of you are did I put all of my energy effort time behind one particular path of making money what do I need to learn more about this in order to feel 100% fulfilled in this new direction the bottom of the deck the cards are telling you to wow this could be oh geez oh okay um okay so the bottom of the we'll start with that is the judgment card so it says if you live in the present the here and the now the past is trying to relinquish its hold on you it's trying to let you go but you keep wanting to stay there hmm this may be for some of you in regards to career it may be in regards to relationship also it may be in regards to how you're coming off to people you say one thing you do another you kind of contradict yourself by way of your words and then your actions. It says live in the present because you need to make, make some necessary change in regards to your lifestyle. Be clear, firm, and definite in what it is you want in every particular facet area of your life whether it's relationship business contracts how you're coming off to people 
be clear. Look, and then the King of Swords, be very clear. Because someone is banking on what you do and what you say. And they're trying to put it all together maybe to offer you some level of fulfillment. Some of you have to make decisions in regards to family and relationship. You're on the fence about it. Continuously thinking about it. Some of you, this is moving. You want to make the, ooh, the correct decision. This is someone needing to make a choice about where you are right here and right now today with maybe a particular person place or thing because something's right in front of you look but this is what has you bogged down or not making a choice fear doubt being unsure of yourself Wondering if I do choose, will it lead me to a path of feeling trapped, closed in? If I say exactly what I want, then people hold me to, I feel chained to, so why not make no decision for some of you? But look what somebody wants to offer, or look what's coming in for you. Could be in career, could be in finance, could be in love. Let's Let's um, see what this is about. Today is the 17th. I don't know. I was led to tell you that. Grief work. Yeah. This is grief work right here. Look at that. This says that I feel so trapped and stuck in my thoughts. I think negatively about intimacy, about merging my life with, about making long-term decision uh, in regards to, I'm not, I don't feel as if I'm strong enough to make a choice in regards to a loved one, a lover, a, a choice about uh, love and career or what I love to do I'd rather stay in a place of fear doubt but you're going to have to grieve that whatever happened to you talk with a counselor uh, write things down deal with it face to face in order to let it be done okay I, I'm trying to get away from it so I'm led to say that um, for some of you write down the the trauma, write down the traumatic incident, write it down and look at it and read it. You know that may sound like oh, what? Write it down, look at it and read it. Uh, whatever. When you are faced with what has happened or what didn't happen, um. You can't hide from it anymore. The overflow of emotion, of letting go of all of that, all those repressed feelings, they then can come to the surface and you can deal with it. But as long as I can't see it, I don't know about it, I push it down, it didn't really happen, um, then that's what I can say, that's what I can do. But if you, if I have to write down on paper that X, Y, and Z happened to me, and I have to look at it and read it, I really have to come to terms with something, okay? All right, what else is this about? It was, some of you, book the cognitive behavior reading, um, another reading, another guided reading too that I have. Uh, th then I say it new career for some of you it's like uh, do I put all of my energy effort focus into this new way 
of being this new career um i'm so torn i feel like i need to learn more some of you are saying some of you are just outright fearful but it won't turn out well relationship dynamics yeah for some of you it's a question of do i stay or do i go um for some of you it's a question of someone has feelings for you or vice versa but you give off mixed signals seven of swords sometimes can talk about mind games too um and they just want to know where you are so they can offer you because they always have when you see the knight of pentacles come out in regards to an offer know that it had, had it had always been there you know it was just a matter of this person place or thing entity uh actually giving it offering it to you this is a person who wants to make sure that they're making the right offer that this will be long standing so they need before they actually give all they have to inquire okay sobriety okay this could be sober thinking this could also be some of you feeling trapped to being addicted to substance abuse whatnot feeling like you can never changing your mind this came out off camera when i was shuffling hobbies which could be associated with new career maybe something started as a hobby and now it's pretty much morphed into a, a new career or something that you have monetized or maybe you do something very well and you need to monetize the hobby because you know you're, you're really good at it changing your mind wow and then the fool card flips out we could be talking about aries aquarius somebody's going in a different direction they're changing their mind about it. one more card for changing your mind and then we're gonna close this out i hope that it resonated right the magician wow that's that's um in sequence zero one so you you decide to go a new path in something a new development a new way a new path taking that leap of faith faith that risk and then you're the magician you, you have the idea, right? Everything starts here, right? So your thoughts are, they can manifest. What you see for yourself is already in the heavens. So it's about bringing that energy down, bringing it into what we term as the 3D, making things happen right here, right now. Wow, the judgment card, um, living in the present, using everything that you have within you to accomplish to bring about this talks about playing your cards right and then having the possible outcome you're looking for um once again it talks about strength some of you and i think i mentioned some of you feel like you're not strong enough to pull it together or you get a personal reading or take advantage of the one question one answer so um that's under ten dollars i don't know what the price is right now but it's under ten dollars and for under ten dollars you can ask one question and you get one answer don't give me a 10 part question i will choose for you well i'll answer the first question and then you know there um so don't send 10 part questions thinking you're going to get those answered don't do it just don't um so i hope that this reading resonated with you gave you a bit of clarity in regards to your situation and what you're going through and um yeah it looks really really promising for some of you you got to get to that place some of you moving some of you making life altering decision some of you giving mixed messages to somebody who wants to offer you a lot 
uh, some of you changing your mind about the course of direction of your life you thought that it was going this way but now you're gonna change your mind and take it another way put all of your energy effort time money behind that new endeavor that new career because it can be very promising for you if that is career I think we've touched pretty much every base here. I hope that the reading resonated with you, for you. Um, many blessings to you. The one question, one answer link will be below. Will be below. Take care, guys.